World buffs play a critical part in your performance during raids. Depending on your class, world buffs can account for more than 50% of your total output. Today, we are going to talk about an extremely powerful world buff that not many Alliance players go for because of how difficult it is to obtain. And I will show you how to get it as consistently as possible. Hello everyone, my name is Numidia, and today we're gonna talk about Warchief's Blessing. Chances are, if you clicked on this video, you already know what Warchief's Blessing is. But for those who don't know, let's go over it quickly. Warchief's Blessing is a powerful world buff that lasts 1 hour and increases your HP by 300, your melee haste by 15% and your MP5 by 10. The buff is dropped in Orgrimmar and Crossroads when a Horde player turns in the Head of Rend. In theory, this buff is only obtainable by Horde players. But with the use of mind control, an alliance player can get it. So yes, you need to be mind controlled by a horde player, or by a player that has a certain item, more on that later, at the exact moment that the buff drops. Depending on where you are, you have a 6 or 18 seconds window to perform this operation successfully to receive Warchief's Blessing. This process is difficult but the reward is extremely valuable. This buff is one of the most powerful world buffs obtainable in the game. And there are ways to not only potentially get it by yourself without any external help, but also to be almost guaranteed to consistently get it, if you follow certain tips that I will give you. So let's get started. Before attempting to get this buff, there are some important things you must know beforehand. First off, here's what happens when someone turns in the head of Rend. Given that the event is not on cooldown, a player comes in and turns in the quest. Thrall then shouts and 6 seconds later, everyone in Orgrimmar will receive the buff. Also, 18 seconds after Thrall shouts, the buff is also dropped for everyone in Crossroads. There is now a 3 hour cooldown on the quest. Anyone turning in the quest before the cooldown expires will not trigger the buff. As an alliance player, you must be mind controlled successfully in one of those windows, depending on where you are, to receive the buff. So should you go to Orgrimmar or the crossroads? There are pros and cons to both locations that you must know about and make the decision by yourself. For the crossroads, once someone turns in the head of Rend, you have a whole 18 seconds before it will drop in the crossroads, leaving you with the option to log out to save the, the other world buffs and log back in once someone turns in the quest. However, there is nowhere to hide in the crossroads, making you very susceptible to griefers. If however you choose to go to Orgrimmar instead, you now only have a 6 seconds window to react once someone turns in the quest. Which means that unless you know the exact second it's going to drop, you don't really have the option to log off to save your world buffs. Logging in takes at the very least 4 to 5 seconds and you won't have enough time to get the mind controlled. Meaning you and your mind controller must stay online until someone drops in the quest. The upside is that Orgrimmar has a lot of places to hide in. I know it sounds weird, but in a PvP server, Orgrimmar is probably safer than Crossroads, depending on the time of the day and the server you're in, of course. Orgrimmar is way bigger than the Crossroads and has many places to hide in. There are multiple videos that show you how to get under Orgrimmar or in inaccessible places, and if you have a guild filled with sweaty nerds like, like my guild, you can create a summoning network under or above Orgrimmar and get summoned there. If you don't have anyone to summon you there, however, you're going to have to enter Orgrimmar by yourself and find a spot by your own by using either invisibility potions or stealth your way in if you're a rogue or a druid. My suggestion is that if you are on a PvP server, you should go for Orgrimmar. If you're on a PvE server, 
the best place to get mind controlled is probably the crossroads, hands down, because of a dueling method which I will explain later. You can mind control yourself by having a second account and a level 20 horde character. The reason for this is that at level 20 you can get expert engineering, and at engineering level 215 you can use an item called Gnomish Mind Control Cap. This item is a godsend when it comes to getting War Chief's Blessing. You can use it at level 20 on a level 60 character and mind control them instantly. From the many tests I've done with it, it looks like it has a flat 80% chance of success. And unlike a priest mind control, which is susceptible to the target's shadow resistance and can break very easily before reaching its full duration, the mind control cap will always go off 80% of the time, instantly, and completely disregards the target's level, resistance, or item level. Now, if you're convinced and decide to create a whore character on a second account, I assume you don't have any gold on Horde side to either level your engineering or craft slash buy the Gnomish Mind Control Cap. You can make use of the neutral auction house to transfer gold with a 15% loss, meaning that if you transfer 100 gold only 75 will be sent because of the goblin auction house fees. You can also transfer a Gnomish Mind Control Cap that way. The Mind Control Cap doesn't require the user to have Gnomish Engineering and you can simply buy it or craft it on a lion's side and transfer it to your horde character. You could also transfer all the materials required to level your engineering on horde side, but that can get really annoying and I suggest you just transfer the gold and then buy the materials on horde side. Something important that actually made me fail from getting the buff the first time I went for it because no one told me about this. If you log off a character while the character is PvP attacked, once you log back into it, you're going to have a buff called Honorless Target for 30 seconds. Now that buff has a hidden effect that makes it so that any player that tries to mind control you will fail to do so, resulting in their spell slash mind controlling cap going on cooldown. So it's very important to have a macro to cancel this buff and to spam it as soon as you gain control of your character. You will find that macro in the description of this video. You could remove the buff manually by right clicking it, but not only is that dangerous because you risk removing other world buffs, but that also takes more time than just spamming a key as you are on your loading screen. And finally, this is only regarding PvE servers. If you are playing on a PvE server, you can do this process completely safely by dueling your mind controller in the crossroads. Any attacks or spells cast during a duel will not tag you for PvP. The crossroads is not a horde zone, meaning that you can simply go to the crossroads, slash duel your mind controller and simply wait until the buff drops. Once it drops, you can get mind controlled, receive the buff, slash forfeit, and hearth out without getting PvP tagged at all. With all this in mind, let me walk you through the exact steps you need to follow every time you want to get War Chief's Blessing. Step 1. You must collect your usual world buffs. There's many tutorials online giving you suggested routes for your world buffs, and to be fair, if you're interested in War Chief's Blessing, you already have a route of your own that works for you. So just follow that and maybe skip Songflower for now and leave it till the end. More on that later. Step number two. Once you're fully world buffed, head to either the Crossroads or Orgrimmar. As I talked about earlier, both locations have their pros and cons, but my suggestion is that if you're on a PvP server, the crossroads has nowhere to hide, so you should consider finding a hiding spot in Orgrimmar. If you are on a PvE server, take advantage of the dueling method by dueling your mind controller in the crossroads to receive the buff without ever getting PvP tagged. Step number 3. Learn about when Warchief's Blessing is dropping next. You must know in advance when the buff is going to drop, whether it be by reading slash asking in Orgrimmar general, 
raiding announcements on the hard discord channel of your server, knowing whether the buff gets usually dropped on cooldown on your server, or simply by standing near Thrall until you see a high level, low geared player running to Thrall. Long story short, if the buff gets dropped and you're on your loading screen, you're most likely not going to receive it, especially if you're an Algrimmar. So know when it's going to drop in advance. Step 4. Have your mind controller ready. Whether you're going to mind control yourself with a second account, or you have a friend that agreed to mind control you, they must be as ready as you are to react fast and mind control you in time for you to receive the buff. And finally, step 5. Once the buff is about to drop, log in and spam your honorless target cancel macro, wait for Thrall to shout, get mind controlled, receive the buff, and hearth out. If you did everything successfully, you should now have received Warchief's Blessing. Congratulations! I will now give you some tips and tricks for you to get this buff even more easily. First, loading times are faster if you don't have any add-ons enabled. If you have a slow PC, consider turning off your add-ons before logging in when Watchy's Blessing is about to drop. Have Nova World Buffs. This add-on is a must-have to know the exact moment the head is on cooldown or the moment it gets dropped. You will find a link to it in the description. Have a Scout Horde character parked at Thrall. This will help you know the exact moment the quest is turned in, or is going to be turned in. If you see a player above level 55 that has green slash blue gear running to Thrall, chances are that player is about to turn in the quest. You probably have your own world buffing route, and in that route you probably have Songflower at the very end as it's the only world buff that has a 1 hour duration. So the question is, since Watchy's Blessing also has a 1 hour duration, should you take it after or before Songflower? Well, it's up to you really, but I personally get it after Watchy's Blessing because of one simple reason. Watchy's Blessing takes time to get. You could be logged for 5, 10, 15 minutes before the quest is turned in, not even counting in the travel time to Orgrimmar Crossroads, eating into your precious Songflower time, so I would suggest you get the Songflower after Warchief's Blessing, ideally by getting summoned there or by using the Everlook Trinket. I talked about this earlier, but make sure you create a macro to cancel the Ownerless Target buff. Again, you'll find it in the description. If you're in the crossroads and the mind control fails, you can actually still have a chance to receive it. Having a backup mind controller is something we often do in my guild. Because the buff takes 18 seconds to drop in the crossroads, you have plenty of time to fit a second mind control in if the first one fails, avoiding you to having to wait 3 more hours for the buff to drop next. And finally, be patient. This buff is extremely difficult to get in some cases, not only because of the coordination required to get it, but most importantly, because on some servers, the Horde will do all there is in their power to make sure you don't get this buff. You're literally stepping inside a Horde city, and dying means you're going to have to start all over again, probably from Dire Maul. You could get lucky and get it easily, just like it's very likely that you're going to be ganked many times. Keep that in mind if you want to get this buff. That's all for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you top the meters with that buff and turn some heads around in your guild. Whatever you do, remember to have fun, take care of yourself and your loved ones. Consider subscribing to this channel if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.